Hi guys, this is Julius Babao Unplugged. It's an exciting day, everyone. Today we're going to unbox and review three sneakers. One of them is the highly anticipated follow-up to the Jordan 1 High by Travis Scott, which is the Jordan 1 Low, the little brother, so to speak. There's so much hype about these sneakers. People are waiting for the little brother, especially with the success of the Jordan 1 High, which is now fetching for around 70,000 to 100,000 pesos. It's kind of easy to cop this uh, pair of shoes, but of course, you have to have the budget. Without the budget, guys, ang hirap makakuha nitong sneakers na ito. Unless you would like to settle for the fake one, which I wouldn't advise. Right, guys? Iba pa rin yung nakasuot ka ng, ng legit na sneakers. And it finally happened, guys. It's out in the market. And if you look at Stock X, the price, it's not so high. It's kind of fair. But let's start with the Travis Scott Low. So, guys, are you ready? Let's go. Julius Babao Unplugged. Julius Babao. Julius. Julius Babao Unplugged. Julius Babao Unplugged. Freezing cold. That's how we already know. I bought this from a reseller and a shopper in Paris, France. Uh, Rylig. You can search his Instagram account. And if you need anything from uh, Rylig in Paris, do message him. But here we go. This is the Travis Scott Jordan 1 Low. So, here's the box. There's the Nike logo. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it's got this wrapper with a Cactus Jack logo and the Air Jordan logo in Nike Air with the ugly man face. Okay, here it is. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice. It looks nice. It looks sleek. Let's check out the details. Check out the shoe tree. Yeah. As you can see, it's a combination of the color mocha and black. And you'll see the wax laces over there and the uh, Nike logo, Nike Air logo. And of course, it wouldn't be a Travis Scott without the exaggerated reverse swoosh, the white swoosh. But on the other side, it's the normal swoosh uh, with the Cactus Jack logo on the side, hidden behind the swoosh. It's a combination of uh, rough leather with uh, a suede-like fabric. And uh, at the back, you will see the Wings and Ball logo that's embroidered on the sneakers. The midsole with stitches and the outsole is colored mocha as well. It's a lot different from the Travis Scott High because it doesn't have a pocket <laughs> with it. But uh, there's an interesting uh, feature there. You see the reverse name of Travis Scott printed on the insole. It comes with three laces, black, red, and pink. And, uh, all right, there you go. That's it. It looks pretty amazing, right? There's the ugly man embroidered on the left pair, while the other one carries the Air Jordan logo. In my previous vlogs, I almost bought the advanced pair. The high cut. 75 and it's priced at around 75,000 pesos. Now, from what I heard, the prices are not going up that fast. It's kind of stable. Expensive, but still affordable for serious collectors of sneakers. Let's check out StockX and see how much sneakers is going for at this very moment, it is now 
priced at around six hundred dollars. The last sale was six hundred dollars, so add a little tax, you'll be paying a little bit more than six hundred dollars, and uh, multiply it by fifty-five uh, to find out the peso equivalent, which is around thirty to thirty-five thousand pesos. Okay, not bad, right? I bought this at about that price. So guys, don't give in to the hype. I'm sure you'll be able to cop a pair which is about that much or maybe hopefully a little bit lower. But I think it's not gonna go up as much as the high. You can see the materials that were used in the leather that was used. Ibang iba dito sa low version. If you want to own a Travis Scott, I think this is this is good, okay? With a price which is not so high, just fair, just right uh, between the two, I would uh, recommend that you get this if you don't have that much uh, budget. But if you're planning to collect and planning to invest in sneakers, this one's for you guys. This one, you can use it every day, pang forma, and uh, it's a head turner. When people see you wearing this, Assured they na pagtitingi ng kayo. So, you know, good luck in getting this uh, pair. And be careful of fakes. So much fakes nowadays, huh, guys? I've been seeing in uh, YouTube na ang galing galing na talaga ng mga nagfe fake. Halos sa uh, parang uh, it's a, an exact copy na of, uh, of the sneakers that are being released. I think they're able to get advanced copies of the sneakers, fabricate them in time for the public release of the sneakers worldwide tapos dun sila sumasabay kaya akala ng mga tao yung mga nabibiling sneakers minsan ay uh, ano na mga legit na na sneakers when actually nakapasok na rin yung mga fake so uh, be careful guys uh, we're spending hard earned money and we deserve the uh, items that we pay for make sure to watch vlogs on how to spot fake from the legit ones and read about it uh, sa, sa internet and do some research before uh, buying a product. Don't uh, buy a product because uh, you like them. Nandiyan na sa harap nyo. Uh, tapos uh, natitempt na kayong bilhin. Uh, just be extra careful guys. And uh, also know the background of the people that are selling you these items. G. Carlo OS in the US. He is also a reseller and uh, he got this for me. This is the blue version, the royal blue version, Jordan 1. Uh, yeah. Let's take a closer look. This is the Jordan 1 royal blue. It's all leather, guys. And the toe box is a vibrant color blue, as well as the heel and the collar. The quarter panel is white leather and the swoosh is colored black. The midsole is white and you can see the stitches there. The outsole is royal blue as well. And at the back, you will see the wings and ball logo that's embroidered on the leather. And it's all leather unlike the black toe, which is a combination of a suede-like fabric and leather. On the tongue you will see the Jumpman logo. Now, what's nice about this is it's not so expensive. Yung mga Jordan Lowe's ay uh, napansin natin hindi masyadong mahal yung price. Naglalaro yan sa mga 6,000 pesos up. At hindi na siya lalampas ng 10,000 pesos. So, unless it's a sneaker with so much hype like the Travis Scott Jordan Low, this you cannot get for 10,000 bucks. You have to pay more than 30,000 for this. The highs have a tendency to be overpriced pag uh, nire-resell na ng mga resellers. And I heard na there's so much hype about the low that's going to come out. The UNC version, University Blue Colored uh, Jordan 1 low. Sobrang hype nito and I'm sure ito ang pipilahan among all the lows na release. I have a couple of them over here. I have the red. And I also have the yellow that my wife gifted me. And of course, this one. 
and uh, Travis Scott Lowe. Fresh from the mailman. Okay? I-unbox na natin itong uh, sneakers na galing sa aking uh, kaibigang si MC Velo from Hong Kong. What is this? Mm -hmm. What is this? What is this? Okay. It's the Nike Jordan 1 Defiant. Got the receipt there from the Nike store. And let's see what it looks like. Oh, huh. Okay. Wow. It looks different. <laughs> and if you look up close, makikita mo na Wow, guys, it's an artwork. <laughs> Kasi ito, uh, makikita nyo na um, they want to make it appear as if the stitches were cut to remove the swoosh from the sneakers. Well, up close, guys, I'm going to show you. And makikita nyo yung mga stitches. Nakalabas. No? See that? Nakaprotrude. Yung mga stitches, naka, hindi siya flat, no? You can actually touch the, the stitches. You know, oh. You will see that um, the trim is uh, leather. It's made of leather. Uh, similar to the gym red, yung material. And uh, the white is uh, also uh, made of the standard uh, Jordan 1 leather. They used red stitches. Um, kaya kitang kita mo agad sa black leather. And at the back, yung stitches go all the way. All the way from the swoosh going to the back up to the next side of the swoosh. And even the Jordan logo, uh, it's embossed on the leather but it's stitched uh, at the side to make it appear as if it's like a patch, but it's actually not. It's just a design. Inside, there, and it's colored uh, yellow. And let's look at the other pair. Still the same, stitches over here, and uh, the patch is there. And uh, let's look at the other side. Oh, it's yellow now, and there's a swoosh here. Uh, now, this is different, okay? Uh, you can see the swoosh here, it's colored yellow. And uh, on the other side, stitches na lang siya. And it comes with uh, laces, red and yellow. If you ask me what kind of uh, lace I'll use for the sneakers, I think I'll be using the yellow one to give it a punch, no? It's mas malakas ang dating if you use the yellow lace. Um, of course, the tongue is kind of different also. The tongue is made of leather. It's different from the other Jordans na gumamit ng ibang fabric and not really leather. But it's okay. I still like it. What's nice about it, me, as an art lover, I appreciate this kind of uh, sneakers. Parang dating nito sa akin, may pagka-experimental. Parang uh, yung konsepto ng off-white. It's not really just an ordinary sneaker, but an artwork. It's a statement. I think he designed this as a homage to uh, vintage wear. Uh, parang pinalabas niya na, na ito yung design na to, parang luma. It's like an uh, old uh, sneakers, uh, recovered from uh, what an old stock room. Tapos pag recover mo, wala na yung swoosh. Uh, nasira na through the years. I think that's the intention of the designer to make it appear as if uh, this sneakers is like a vintage sneaker. When it's actually not, you know? Parang ano lang to, artist statement, ika nga. From what I know, ay hindi siya masyadong uh, nag-hype at hindi masyadong maraming pair ng ganitong ginawa. But still, it's different, no? Uh, marami tayong mga nabibili mga Jordan 1. But uh, halos pare-pareho lang naman, di ba? Nagbabago na yung mga colors. But this is different, guys. It actually looks weird to some, but it's a head turner. And it's a collectible item. So, guys, ulat sa bayan na tayo. It's time to announce the winners of our contests. Let's start with our legitimo question. 
First question natin, magkano yung nabiling shoes ni Kuya Julius na Nike Runners? Uh, second question... Mahal doon ha, kaya yeah. nila sagutin. <laughs> second question, ano yung size ng shoe ni Shaq na pinakita kanina ni Kuya? Ako, magdadagdag ako ng ano, ng uh, third question. Ang question ko is, sino ang designer nito? Uh, guys ha, sino ang designer? And here are the lucky winners, five winners of uh, Lehitimo Hoodies and a Supreme Cap. Let's announce muna the winners of the Lehitimo Hoodies. Our first winner is Harvey Gamboa of General Santos City. His answers are 1K Nike running shoes, size 22 Shaq shoes, and Don C, the designer. Second winner is Joseph Boligor of Cebu City. Vencel Montelibano of Bacolod City. R. Owen of Makati City. Jed Valiente from Manila. And our legit Supreme Cap goes to... Congratulations, Ella May Reyes of Taguig City. Ito ay mga shirts galing sa Ugly Kids Clothing at sa Homework Clothing. Yan mga uh -huh. pa. Yes, oo. At para manaloy nito, kinakailangan yung sagutin ng ating questions. Mm -hmm. Anong year ako lumaban sa World Beatboxing Championship? Uh, tapos, siguro magparinig tayo ng isang song, tapos huhulaan nila kung anong song yun. Oh, Kaya ba? So, Sige nga. Oh, pasok na ako, ha? Eh, eh, eh! Hulaan nyo yan kung anong song na yan. And you might win. Five guys ha. Five ang pamimigay natin mga t-shirts sa ating mga lucky viewers. Kung mahuhulaan nyo yung two questions natin. Alright? It's from Spider-Man Sunflower by Post Malone. Okay, and here are the winners. Congratulations to Rads Banaag of Kabuyao, Laguna. His answers are World Beatback Championship of 2015 and Sunflower by Post Malone. Daniel Antonio De Jesus of Cainta, Rizal. Edmund Co. Gentison of Santa Ana, Manila. Mac William Sabuero of Santa Rita, Olongapo City. And Glenn Ignacio of La Paz, Tarlac. Congratulations, guys! Thank you, thank you so much for uh, supporting uh, Julius Babao Unplugged. And thank you from the bottom of my heart sa ating mga bagong subscribers. Now, we are more than 51,000 subscribers on our way to 100,000 subscribers. Let's make it happen, guys. Alright? And uh, don't forget to uh, post your comments below. Or what do you think of the sneakers that we showed you? You can always post your comments below. Really appreciate it, guys. And don't forget to subscribe and like our videos. And hit that notification button. Alright? I'll see you soon. Bye!